and welcome to Sign Language Interpreted Storytime at the Library. I'm Nancy and I'm here at the Saskatoon Public Library on Treaty 6 territory and the traditional homeland of the Métis. Yeah. And I wanted yeah. to remind all of you that we are all treaty people. Our interpreter is from Saskatoon Deaf and Hard of Hearing Services. Now let's start by singing our welcoming song. Do you know how we, we say, hello, friends, it's time to say hello. Can you sing that with me? Hello, friends, hello, friends, hello, friends, it's time to say hello. Today, we're going to have stories about going on the bus. Are you ready? This story is called Bunnies on the Bus. Isn't that exciting? Bunnies on the Bus. It's by Philip Ardaugh and the uh, illustrator is by Ben Mantle. It's a sunny summer day in Sunnytown with the creatures warm and happy as the sun shines down. Bunnies on the bus. And this is a message to naughty bunnies everywhere. Behave! There's a turtle at a bus stop waiting with her shopping. A bus whizzes by her with no signs of stopping. That's not okay. Bunnies on the bus! Bunnies on the bus! No wonder there's a fuss about bunnies on the bus! Little bunny at the wheel! Little bunny at the wheel! He's swerving round the corners to make the others squeal. Pandas at the crossing! Pandas at the crossing! They're shopping, jumping in the air, spinning and a tossing. Zoom! They're going really fast. Bunnies on the bus! Bunnies on the bus! No wonder there's a fuss about the bunnies on the bus. Oh, I don't know if I'd like to get on that bus. Baby bunny wails, baby bunny wails. Mommy bunny soothes him by reading bunny tales. He seems very happy. Lambs by the library playing on the swings. The bus goes shooting by them, flying without wings. That can't be good. Bunnies in the aisle. Bunnies in the aisle. Do you sit down or you'll end up in a pile. There's a bunny on the roof. There's a bunny on the roof. Watch out, you silly bunny. You may well lose a tooth or something else. Bunnies on the bus. Bunnies on the bus. No wonder there's a fuss about the bunnies on the bus. Bunnies at the stop. Bunnies at the stop. Time to get off now. They jump down with a hop. But wait, what's happening down in Station Lane? The bunnies from the bus have hopped onto a Train! Bunnies on the train! Bunnies on the train! Another bunny journey! Here we go again! Bunnies on the bus! Bunnies on the bus! What's all the fuss about the bunnies on the bus?
This story is called Wheels on the Bus, and it is by Paul O. o. Zielinski. And it is, it's got lift the flats and turning things. We'll see how much we can do with this. Let's try it. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all over town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all over town. The people on the bus go in and out, in and out, in and out. The people on the bus go in and out all over town. The driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back all over town. The windows on the bus slide up and down, up and down, up and down. The windows on the bus slide up and down all over town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all over town. The Riders on the bus go bumpity bumpity bump, bumpity bumpity bump, bumpity bumpity bump. The riders on the bus go bumpity bumpity bump all over town. Isn't this a fun book? The babies on the bus cry where, 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 where. Where, where, where. The babies on the bus cry where, where, where all over town the mothers on the bus say shh 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 the mothers on the bus say shh 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 all over town and look at that face there's all the people getting on and off and saying shh 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 and moving in and getting off at the library isn't that wonderful round and round and up and down and in and out and move on back and open and shut and what's this one bumpity bumpity bump and around and round all over town and that is the wheels on the bus This story is called, Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus, and it's by Mo Willems. Would you ever let a pigeon drive the bus? Seems like a silly idea, doesn't it? Let's see what happens here. The pigeon looks very interested in driving the bus. Hmm, seems like he's been dreaming about buses a lot, or dreaming about a lot of buses. Hi, I'm the bus driver. Listen, I've got to leave for a little while. So you can you watch things for me until I get back? Thanks. Uh, oh, and remember, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. This book is published by Hyperion. There's the bus driver walking away. and Look who's in the corner there. That is the pigeon. I thought he'd never leave. Hey, can I drive the bus? What are we going to tell him? We can say no, right? Please? I'll be careful. No. I'll tell you what, I'll just steer. Uh, my cousin Herb drives the bus almost every day. No. True story. No. <sighs> vroom, vroom, vroomy, vroom, vroom, pigeon at the wheel. <gasps> no. I never get to do 
anything. Does that work when you tell your mom that? Hmm. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's play drive the bus. I'll go first. No. Come on. Just once around the block. No. I'll be your best friend. No. How about I give you five bucks? No. No fair. I bet your mom would let me. No. What's a big deal? It's just a bus. No. I have dreams, you know. No. Fine. I'm back. You didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? Uh -uh. Great. Thanks a lot. Uh oh. Bye. <sighs> hey. What's that? Do you think we should let the pigeon drive the big truck? This story is called The Bus for Us. It's by Suzanne Bloom. And the interesting thing about it, this one is it's about Tess. Tess is a little girl who is going to school on the bus for the first time with her brother Gus. But she's so excited, she doesn't know which one they're waiting for because she's never been on the school with the bus before. Let's see how she does this. This is by Boyd Mills Press. Is this the bus for us, Gus? Well, it's kind of yellow. It could be the bus, couldn't it? What does Gus say? No, Tess, this is a taxi. Hmm. Oh, here comes a friend. Here's another vehicle. Does that look like a bus? Hmm, it's blue. Maybe they have blue buses. Oh, just a minute. What does that bus sign say? It says, bus stops? Hmm, let's see, is this a bus? No, Tess, this is a tow truck. Oh, it says bus stop again. Oh, and here's more friends coming to the bus stop. And a, and a dog. Mm. Is this the bus for us, Gus? This one's red. Have you seen a red school bus? The bot dog is quite excited to see what's in everyone's lunches, isn't he? No, Tess. This is a fire truck. There would never be room for them, would there? Is this the bus for us, Gus? Oh, look. Somebody's lunch kit has a... Is that a frog? And I see a cat sneaking up to check it out, too. More friends are coming. And what is this coming along? Does that look like a school bus to you? I like the front, but I don't think so. Shall we see? No, Tess. This is an ice cream truck. Oh, that says sub stop. Hmm. Oh no, people are putting their hands over their noses. And Gus looks very unhappy. Is this the bus for us, Gus? This one is green. Hmm, green and smells bad? No, Tess. 
this is a garbage truck. Hmm, they don't want to ride to school in the garbage truck. <gasps> is this the bus for us, Gus? Oh, we can hardly see that one, but that looks kind of like a shovel or something. <gasps> Where is that? Is that a turtle going into that bag? And Gus is picking up all the crayons. Hmm. No, Tess, this is a backhoe. Oh, there's definitely not room for them on that. But look what the bus sign says. It says, bus pots. Did you know you could make that many words with just those letters? Let's see. Is this the bus for us, Gus? Oh, look at that. Now they're all standing in line. The bus sign says, bus stop. And everyone seems to be ready except Gus, who is very unhappy. Let's see what's coming. <gasps> it's the bus at the bus stop. Yes, Tess, this is the bus for us. Let's go. And that was the bus for us. And that was our interpreted story time for today. Thank you for their interpret the interpreters. Saskatchewan Deaf and Hard of Hearing Services. And thank you all for coming. Now let's sing our goodbye song. Are you ready? We're going to say goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Can we sing that together? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. And goodbye to all of you.